In this video, we're going to look at how to iterate over a hash. So let's start IRB here and let's set up a little hash. I'm going to copy it off another screen here. So I'll save myself some typing back up here and remove that space. Otherwise, we'll get a little error. Okay, now we have our hash we've used in other videos here. It's just a simple hash of color and the HTML color value for that particular color. So we have three elements in that hash that we're playing with. If we want to just simply iterate over those and we do an each, if we just do this and we do a typical little block structure and I'll just say C and then put C, what it's going to print is each element of that hash. But you'll see it's sending or, or giving us essentially an array for each of these. So it's taking that hash apart, putting each element into an array. But say we want to actually break this down a little bit. We can say key or kv, and then we could say print the key is and the value is. So what I did was I created a block with our curly brackets here. And because this is going to be two elements of an array, I can go ahead and use this uh, value or, or this um, variable receiver using two because there's two parts to this array that are going to come in and then my p is just a shortcut for puts uh, and then my string that I want printed out and I've embedded inside that string two uh, evaluative structures one for this k variable and one for the v variable so now you'll see it printed out here oops what did, oh, I gave it one too many curly brackets there so we walk through and it just simply prints out for each of these the key is white and the value is FFF. And you'll notice that it's actually took our key and evaluated it as a string and not a symbol. So be careful with that if, you, if you're expecting it to have the colon in front of it. You might have to manually put the colon there. So that's one way. If we want to just march through each key and see what keys we have in there, we can do this. And that's going to print out our keys. And if we want to look at the values, I'll just leave the k's there. They don't really mean anything. I can say value, each value, and now I get each value in there. So that's a pretty straightforward way of looking at and iterating over your hash using the each, each key, and each value methods.